Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fake Stock Trader here on YouTube, June 21st, 8.30 a.m. Central Time. We're looking at Bitcoin on the daily. We will be talking CKB in just a second as soon as we can figure out what's going on with Bitcoin. This is a very important video, folks, for everyone to watch. We are clinging on to the market currently by a thread, by threads. Folks, I'm not trying to be scary or anything like that. We didn't get our ascending triangle that I was hoping for. Everything kind of bounced downwards. And we can definitely tell, I think the last time I left off with everybody was June 17th. And I said, we will see the next day this thing will wick down to 35,000. And it looks like that did in fact happen. 35,157-ish, somewhere in there. But more importantly, what I'm paying attention to is this death cross here. Next Fibonacci time zone is not till July 11th. So what we might see happen is we might see a little rally here in an attempt to recheck this 50 against the 200. And we can kind of see what I'm talking about down here. We had the death cross. Then for a second, we had what's called a bull trap and also a golden cross appear on the chart. So with that said, we need to A, see if this 50 will come back up and test the 200. And if it does and succeeds, what will happen after that? Are we gonna get caught in a mega bull trap or, or, or not? And what I'm seeing playing out right here, folks, is a new ascending triangle that I'm hoping we can squeeze into. I'm hoping we can kind of bounce back up into the market and we may see 40,000 again and we may see something like this happen. My prediction is that if we bounce back upwards in the next day or two, I think July 11th will be a super important time. We're either going to trade out of this pie slice or we're gonna trade up and out. Hopefully it's up and out. And folks, this is all contingent on the fact that we need a bounce here. Because if we bounce out of this Fibonacci channel, folks, it's not looking good for the market. And let's just kind of break this down even further here. We're gonna look at these scary things called retracements. And you know what? Let's just pull these, pull these up. This is very important for us to look at all the possibilities of what could happen. Now, we are still, folks, we are still bouncing around at this 50% line. If we can survive this bounce, we will successfully have, uh, you know, really come down at least a triple or quadruple bottom off this 50% level in a, about a couple months since May. So this would be huge if we can bounce off this. Otherwise, if the bottom breaks loose, we can definitely see that Bitcoin is headed for 26855 in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm just curious here. I'm going to... Bear with me one second. I'm just going to try something here. Ah, screw it. But that's that's the whole name of the game right now. Watch for anything below current price levels. If this thing really starts tanking below 31,100, maybe just 31,000, be very alert and accepting of the fact that we could possibly head down to 268 for a price tag. And if it fails there, we'll, we'll see a $10,000 Bitcoin again. Off to CKB. Folks, I'm not sitting here trying to be bearish on all of you. I'm here to tell you exactly what I'm seeing. And I'm here to not bullshit you like a lot of these other channels just string their viewers along and let them get slaughtered uh, you know, with no remorse at all. I'm not that kind of uh, YouTuber, I guess. I have a conscience and I have ethical dilemmas of other channels that do that type of thing. 
Currently with CKB on the daily, we can t still tell that we are in a support region with CKB. Obviously, if Bitcoin starts breaking down, and CKB will go along with it. CKB has not yet death crossed. So if Bitcoin can get its act together, we may not see CKB death cross at all, which is my hope. We can see how this symmetrical triangle really didn't uh, do anything for us. It did. We did have a pretty accurate uh, Fibonacci time zone. I, I think I said June 8, June 17, somewhere in there. Looks like this thing hit on June 18th and we traded outside of this symmetrical triangle. So next Fibonacci time zone could be July 14th for CKB. And what's going to happen from now until then? Well, we might see CKB drift down to 0.011 region. It would not surprise me at all, like whatsoever. Uh, it could be a buying opportunity if we hold this lower support ban. But otherwise, stochastics, RSI, are right in the tank where we want them for a rebound if that is to occur. Currently, what I'm seeing is this July 14th date will likely be uh, somewhat of... Uh, an accurate date somewhere in this July 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, somewhere in there, folks. I really think that Bitcoin with that last prediction of July 11th, you know, we're really going to see something happen right around the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th with the market. So I'm thinking that that in that time frame, uh, we will see a significant point in time for the market. Really, folks, that's all I've got for you. Thank you all for smashing that like button if you haven't done so. It's the easiest way you can contribute to the channel is by smashing the like button and subscribing. Also, there's Patreon links, Nervous Network, Wallet in the description if you'd wish to donate fiat or crypto, whatever. I truly appreciate anyone's support, even if, uh, you know, it's just coming down to hitting that like button. So thank you all. I hope you all had wonderful weekends. Uh, big thank you to all the fathers out there for being uh, uh, good fathers. And uh, I hope everyone had a happy Father's Day, whether your father is here or no longer with us. It's a great day to remember all the dads. And so I appreciate all of you. And we will touch base tomorrow and see if Bitcoin bounces. And maybe we'll have further data on CKB as well. So peace out and we'll catch you guys later.